morning, morning, morning. This is Paul AAC on another Marine Fish Focus. Uh, some of you straight away, I'm sure, will know what this fish is. But if you don't, this is possibly one of the rarest tangs you'll ever find in the hobby. This is a zebra tang, uh, polyzona or black barred surgeon. Um, very, very unique. Uh, we've had a, a extremely lucky, normally we might see one or two of these a year, maybe three at the most, uh, with our shipment out of the Indian Ocean. Um, but we got exceptionally lucky. We've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five, we've got six, we've got six, seven and then we got another one down in here as well there he is eight nine and then we got one more there he goes up there's quite dark this one this one's uh, fighting through the glass we've got ten in total which is an absolute rarity to see so many considering the uh, uh, the very difficult location that they're collected in Talking to the catchers, which are out in Mauritius, a lot of people would think that these are found on the fringing reef. Sometimes they can be found amongst the schooling, uh, more common convict tang. However, these are a very unique species. Although they look like a convict, they're not a convict in the terms of their behavior, their size, and their rarity. What makes them quite unique, I believe that these ones were actually caught in some very, very cloudy, deep water. And you'll notice that the eye sizing on the zebra convict or the zebra tang is slightly larger. They also have these tribal markings, which is what makes them, I don't know if you can see there, the uh, tribal, every tank, it's like a fingerprint. Every nose on every zebra tang is slightly different, which gives them their sort of tribal patination. Um, and it makes them highly desirable. They're not too aggressive, they're aggressive amongst themselves, as you can see, they're always trying to bash each other through the glass. But they're not too aggressive and they don't get too big. In fact, convict tangs get actually bigger. Going back to their location, as well, although they can be found out on the reef, um, these were actually collected in quite brackish water amongst uh, scats, and monos, and things like that in eel grass beds of an estuary near uh, Mauritius, which uh, was quite pleasing to, to know. So, anyway, we've got some amazing specimens in. They're all roughly the same size. The last shipment we had, they were much smaller. These ones would fit in nicely with your average size, like yellow tang or purple tang, that sort of size. They're just a touch bigger on there. However, they are expensive. They an, always have been an expensive fish, but we're fortunate in the UK that we generally pay a lot less for them than they do in the States. I mean, I've been hearing stories at the moment that in the United States, they're going for as much as $2,000 each. But that will be down a lot of it down to the extra freight and transport times compared. So we're quite fortunate in the UK. You can expect to pay anywhere between, say, at 600 and a thousand pounds for a zebra tang depending on the uh, the freight rates at the time etc there's another nice fish actually from that region this is an incredibly rare specimen this is called a pelsier's ras a very very rare fish just managing to wean uh, all of these uh, fish that we've received from the, that region in the indian ocean onto uh, frozen and dried i think dylan my son's with me at the moment so dylan if you want to try putting a little bit of food in for me on there. He's been on his uh, work experience from school at the moment. And uh, there we are, look, that one there. Best feed his neighbour, Dylan, because uh, they start to get anxious, the ones on the opposite side of the glass. There we go. A little bit in there. Yeah, look, feeding really well. We've had these now about two, three weeks in isolation. Um, we never ever release our uh, own imports too early. I know some stores seem to think they're ready in five days. We wouldn't dream of uh, sending out a fish of this sort of value. 
um, uh, is so soon. So they've just been uh, flubenazole, which is they're wormed, um, and they've also gone through a uh, motion of uh, copper. Um, we will then introduce them to the commercial system uh, this week. Um, of which I'm sure they uh, won't initially fly at the door, but they'll be at a new, normal copper level on there. So looking really smart, looking really good. It's a short video today, but we just wanted to showcase these beautiful rare fish. Um, I can't imagine we're gonna see many more of them now, uh, this side of uh, the new year. Uh, maybe get another shipment, maybe just before Christmas, possibly. But there we go, Polly's owner possibly the most favourite of uh, my tangs. I think it's the contrast, it's the black and white barring. I mean, stands out so well against your pretty colourful coral reef. That's what makes them really popular. But we've never, let's see if we can get in really close on one, just so we can get the markings on the tribal markings. Let's see, we'll try down here. This one, they're so busy at the moment feeding, that I don't know whether we'll get in too close. But there we are, there's a beauty there. If you wanna put a bit of food in Dylan in this one, and we'll just see if we can get a little focus on that. This is probably my favorite one. And there's some Lapalus in there as well. This particular one, slightly smaller than the others, is very, very bulgy. Um, so fast as well, that's the thing with a zebra tang, anyone who's ever owned one will tell you, they're like bullets, the speed of which they swim. And you can imagine, they need to be really strong swimmers. If they're swimming in uh, uh, estuary conditions, you can imagine the tidal pull, uh, the currents have got to be really strong, which is probably why they're rare, not because they're probably not in abundance, it's because of the cloudy, difficult conditions for collection. That's where the experience of uh, my chipper out in Mauritius, you know, I've been doing it for some 40, 50 years collecting marine fish, um, but it really will take a lot of skill, as you can imagine, to catch these. Um, I believe, obviously, the same as they uh, any decent collector uses, they use a barrier net to catch these, which is uh, uh, the most humane and safe way to do so. And you can tell they're fin perfect, so no damage occurred during capture. But that one's a beauty as well. You can see there's some lovely markings on that one as well. Dylan, do you want to feed that one for us as well? Here we go. There we go. Let's see if we can get that. Look at that fish. What a stunning specimen. Anyway, these will be available this week or towards the end of the week. If you want to put an order in, estimated somewhere in the region of uh, 699 to 799. Um, they are a collector's fish. You know, we're not expecting uh, hundreds of people to want the fish of this price, but if you're looking one, we've got some absolute stunning specimens. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll be back as well with another special fish this week, uh, the Lunatus Rass.